welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melanin Nostalgic Runner. And we are doing another Get Fit With Me series yoga edition. Hopefully you're having a great weekend. Today is Sunday here in the States and in, in Chicago. And yeah, so I'm gonna be doing this yoga routine and sharing it with you, of course. And then also besides that, I'm gonna try to get in a quick run before I meet one of my friends out for brunch because that's what Sundays are for, right? Sunday, fun day. Uh, also getting things done around my house and stuff too. There's that. But anyway, hopefully you're have a, also having a great weekend as well, but that's not why we're here. We're doing, we're gonna get into this um, yoga um, series and we are featuring a new yogi, YouTube yogi person that I haven't done, that I have not um, reviewed or done the routine yet. It is um, the person's name or the name of the channel is Yogi with um, Shanika, Shanika. Uh, I believe that's how you pronounce her name. I'm definitely gonna put her information description below um, for you to check her out. And uh, this routine is a 30 minute routine. It is upper body um, yin yoga um, to release tension. So it's supposed to release tension neck, back, all that good stuff. Um, shoulders most likely as well. And so, yeah, I think I mentioned before on my channel, I've had issues in the past where, um, and still kind of do, where my upper back, just all the tension is always there. I actually get worked on fairly regularly as a result of that. But I figured this will also assist with that too. And besides us getting into this, and before we get into this, a candle I am featuring, it is Island Cabana giving a nice little summer vibe. And yeah, so let's stop wasting the time and get into it. So for today's practice, we are gonna be starting a little bit differently. We're actually gonna be started laying down, but for this, we are gonna need a couple of props. So if you have two blocks, you want to use two blocks, but if you don't have two blocks, like I currently do not, um, you want to put one block, um, definitely um, in the area that if you're a woman is going to be right underneath like your bra strap or kind of like um, right basically below slightly below your shoulder blades but before you get um, into like your lower back area um, so before the curvature of your um, your back um, and then the other um, block you want to kind of use on your head so if you don't have the block and you have the pillow like I do you can just use a very like a firm pillow so that's why I chose the pillow that I used and we're going to be staying in that position for a couple minutes um, this practice is a yin yoga practice so all of our poses that we're doing today we are holding for like two to three minutes and then we are transitioning to the next pose from there um, hopefully you enjoy I probably should have mentioned when we were in that um, position, this was going to be kind of like a supported um, um, lying down cobbler pose, if you will. So our our feet were in our feet or legs were kind of in the butterfly pose, um, just to get that nice stretch and also um, to kind of do a chest opening as we are then also um, stretching our upper back neck and all that good stuff but from there um, we are then going to um, take the block um, that was right that was right by like our bra strap area or like in our like upper back area away and then we are going to lie down briefly um, just kind of like in the shavasana corpse pose as like a recovery before we transition over to the next pose um, and the next pose will be like on our belly
pose when we are lying on our belly. We are actually doing um, a stretch for like our shoulders and the instructor actually started on the right side, but actually started on the left side, not realizing I was doing the opposite of what she was doing at the time. But what you're going to do is just going to have your first shoulder, like your um, arm out in a T. Um, so that will be your uh, left arm out in a T. And then you're going to then um, move your the rest of your body to its side. Um, and then have basically like your um, head, um, your ear on the, on the ground, your left ear on the ground. And then also then having your... Um, knees um, on the side there just like I did right here and we're going to be doing that on both sides um, there is going to be a brief recovery motion that we do in between to kind of um, stretch it out where we're doing like a little bit of a rest in between on both sides as well and as you can tell in this practice whisper was heavily involved in this practice um, I don't know if you could do that but if you have the option of doing that I definitely would highly encourage doing this with your pets Once we get finished doing that position on both sides, we then are gonna make our way to a tabletop position, almost um, in a way of doing an extended child's pose. But instead of doing that said extended child's pose, we actually are going to thread the needle on both sides. So another shoulder stretch. And yes, again, Whisper was heavily involved and we're doing this on both sides. I should have mentioned in between, we are kind of doing a brief child's pose um, where we stretch our arms out to kind of do as a resting pose in between before we do transition over to the other side, threading the needle.
after we do the thread the needle on both sides, we then are going to move back to that child's pose. And But instead of um, stretching our arms forward, we're going to actually put our hands into a prayer position. So with our elbows on the ground, um, elbows on the floor and our um, prayer hands up, and this is also a great stretch for the upper back area. And we're gonna be doing that um, kind of as a recovery pose from doing um, so much of the shoulder um, exercises back and back there. After doing that, we then are going to make our way to more of kind of a traditional child's pose. We're going to put our knees together instead of being as wide as the yoga mat. And then um, instead of going out as into a child's pose, we actually are going to do kind of like more of a uh, curling of a ball position. So um, our hands are going to be on the mat, um, but in our fists kind of put this position and we're going to be stacked on top of each other so we're going to be using like our hands kind of as our pillow for where we put our head at and then we kneel down and we're going to be again holding this for a couple breaths as well. So from there we're going to make our way back to lying down on the mat and um, once we are lying down the mat, we then are gonna put our knees um, into our chest and just give ourselves a nice big hug. From that, we are using that momentum to basically transition to a supine twist. So we're gonna start on the um, right side and twist over to the right within our arms being in either a cactus pose or um, T position. And we're gonna be doing that on both sides. But in between that, we are gonna be giving our um, knees a nice big squeeze. After doing the supine twists on both sides, we then are going to make our way back to lying on our mat after giving ourselves that big squeeze. And then we're going to put our feet as wide as the yoga mat and then have our knees touch each other as again, another resting pose. I should have mentioned in between, we are kind of doing a brief child's pose um, where we stretch our arms out to kind of do as a resting pose in between before we do transition over to the other side, threading the needle.
After doing that, we're going to then put, um, take the, remove the block and then do a nice long stretch um, to, basically we're gonna be closing the practice pretty soon, but that nice long stretch is just get all the rest of the stretching done before we then make our way to a seated position and then that will conclude the practice for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. So that concludes the practice for today. Um, how I would rate it, um, I'm actually gonna rate it a solid nine. Um, what I did like about it is that it was extremely relaxing. What the only reason why it's not full 10 is because I probably, and this is kind of a me thing, I probably should have did this practice more when I'm trying to wind down because it was super relaxing. So it was like a case of super relaxing slash super relaxing. So I honestly almost think I should have done this practice tomorrow because I usually, that's when I usually get my work, my um, back work done. So it would have been perfect for that, but it's actually going to be a practice I might be repeating on my own just because it felt really good. And some of the poses that we did, I haven't done in a yoga practice. I would think in like five years because most of the yogi instructors that I've been following or that I've been routines I've been doing haven't done a, like really the first pose that we did I haven't done that pose in forever I forgot how good that feels on your back it's amazing so if you're someone who does have a lot of stress in your upper back or you just need to be able to relax for a second I that the very first pose alone was it captivated me I was in I was locked in so I did appreciate that um she does the practice with you so it's very nice and slow paced and easy to do so if you're someone who's not as coordinated as some of others as others it's a good practice for that too um, i would definitely recognize i would def definitely recommend this practice and um yeah i'm gonna check out more of her stuff it seems like most of what she does is yin yoga so that's gonna be more of the and I think I mentioned this before, that's a form of yoga where you hold, hold the poses. Um, so it's not as flowy. It's definitely going to be more of that side of like you do a pose and you hold it and you usually hold it for like one, two minutes, depending on the yoga instructor. One thing that was nice about her was she made it where you didn't have to really look at the video because she had like a bell that she would have on the video when it was time to like, you know, get get ready to get out of the pose so that was nice and then she would talk you through getting out of the pose um so it was perfect so you didn't really have to watch what she was doing once you were in your pose so that was really really nice but anyway that does conclude the video please like comment subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content it's your girl sharon aka the melanin nostalgic runner and i will see you next time bye